Welcome back to Dark Souls Part 49, and after departing from Orangetown, we make it to very memorable Icy Bluesville. So, why did the Bed of Chaos have a have a um, a Lord Soul? Because was that was the, Lord, the witch. Was the, the witch Isolith actually in the intro? No, the wit that was the bed of chaos was the witch of Isolith. She transformed into a beetle. Yeah, I, and I get that. That's what, oh, that's I a fire that, cube. That's, that's a fire cube for soul. She was, but yeah, the, but the Lord Souls are supposedly you know tied to a Gwen yeah. in some way, and I don't think that we actually covered the uh, witch of Isolith in the intro. Wait, I think we did. Maybe. I don't think so. Yeah. I mean, I know that we covered Seath, Nikto... Oh! No, 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 she was the leader of the fucking cult then, wasn't she? May maybe. I, I'm pretty- I'm pretty sure- I'm pretty sure she was mentioned. I got a lot of souls. Hello there. Hello there, friend. You're being very helpful for one who was so quiet. I'm still sad that we lost Solaire. It's not fair, man. Solaire just wanted to help. He did, and he did help. You know who else is helping? That that little girl right there. And you know she she's humble. And I just I just want to wave to her and say thank you for helping me. You just keep keep on being you quiet. You realize that your sword is clipping through your armor and sh and uh, <laughs> severing your legs, right? I have magic. Sword protection. Ah, uh, uh, level 88. Are we gonna be level 100 before we finish the game, Cloud? Nope, we're gonna level. I know I've asked that before, but um, we're gonna cap out around level 89. I think either 89 or 90. I'm not. I don't make it all the way to 100. You you don't have to make it to 100. The game's running out of bosses. It's getting insanely expensive to level up, and I'm pretty I'm pretty powerful as it is. So we we were here once before, and uh, we uh, I mean yes. we we met Mr. Butterfly. And we Our, Mr. Me and Mr. Butterfly understand each other. Okay, so you're not gonna try and fight the Moonlit Papillon again. All right, good. But what what is what is it? oh oh um, oh 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 <laughs> Dark Souls okay, for the record Dark that Souls isn't, that isn't exactly. <laughs> That isn't exactly bullshit, as they they are using the snow there specifically to show you that hey, there might be things here. Bullshit. It's still somewhat bullshit because bullshit. it's very easy to miss that particle. Effect. Bullshit. <laughs> this is not totally bullshit, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's mostly bull bullshit. You have to aim for the platform, or you fall off the invisible roadway. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I got stumped. Because Dark Souls hates you. I had to look up a guide video. I I was pushed to whiz end trying to figure out what the fuck is with this place. And yes, the truth is blinding, fearsome. There are invisible fucking floors. <laughs> Hold it. There wasn't a gate here. Why wasn't there a gate here, and why did you skip the giant clams? <laughs> giant clams. I made it this far. Fuck the clams. Shiny thing. Hold it. Are, are, are we doing this fight now? Hi, Seath! Seath the scaler, Seath the scaler, Seath the scaler, Seath the scaler, Seath the scaler. It's the blue eyes white dragon. Here's yeah, he a, has more than 3,000 attack points. This is an alternate take of me taking on Steve the Scaleless. I'm not sure what happened to the first one. Or that my recorder got fucked up. But yes, this is the real Steve the Scaleless boss fight because that was his. That was the thing that was stopping me from hurting him, and now he is vulnerable. Ah. So he throws over a bonfire in order to make himself immortal. Uh, I'm not. I don't think that was a bonfire. That was just like an ice vein or something. God damn it, Cloud! Just hit him. Try. There. 
Ow, ow. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh, it is a slamming so good time in here. So, this is the Maleficent Dragon fight from Kingdom Hearts 1 all over again. <laughs> Except you have less options. Oh god, Dark Souls has less options than Kingdom Hearts. Uh, armor? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, because he keeps he keeps turning. And he's pulling away my target. What is he doing now? Oh, oh boy. So, why don't you smack the, the core on in the front? I mean, you're likely to get hit with double, with double tentacles that way, but at least it's not moving away from you. That's a... The, the answer to your question, Gurdad, is a, is a hard-earned uh, Dark Souls Bloodborne lesson is never just attack the boss dead center unless you have a plan to stagger him and stop his attack, because you're usually... In this situation, he usually has your number. Yeah... Ice from nowhere. You've already got him down to, like, 40%. Uh -oh. What the fuck are you doing? Uh, run. Run. He's, run. Ca he's casting Blizzaga, okay? Deadly Blizzaga. And, those, and, the, and the ice effects there don't actually fade out. They just stop They just stop being there. They pop out of existence. Well, I mean, nobody, nobody gave this game awards for looking brilliant, although for an Xbox 360 game, this is pretty fucking dope. Um... I just, I just let it do its thing. You know, if it looks silly, it makes me smile. You're not so tough. He's more than half dead. The Confidant has many secrets. You will tell me what color is Lord Gwyn's underwear. Uh, actually it's white, isn't it? <laughs> I would say gray. Someone out there actually knows this for a fact, Cloud. It's I, I and I'm gonna say it right here that according to CloudFacts.com, yes, that's that's C L O W fuck you dot com. That Lord Gwyn's underwear is colored gray because he's in soot all the time. What? I barely used two F this flask. Fuck that shit. I just got another Lord Soul. No, that's a Lord Soul shard. They're, well, they're they're all pieces of the Lord Soul. I said, Lord, 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 I'm Lord, Lord, Lord. Things. Nah. Oh, 40,000. Nice. That's, that has a decent amount of souls. I am pleased. There's one thing that stupid bosses should do. It's going to be stupid amounts of souls. Oh, 40,000 isn't even enough to love you, love you well. up anymore. As King Seeker, I shall now instruct you, the Lord's successor, in your next task. To achieve your fate, fill the vessel with powerful souls. Sure thing, Boros. To the great <laughs> soul of wind. Scarce few possess such brilliant souls. Grave Lord Nito, the Witch of Isolith, the four kings of New Londo, who inherited the shards of Gwyn's soul, and Lord Gwyn's former confidant, Seif, the Scaleless. All of their souls are required to satiate the Lord Vessel. All right, so... Are you ready? Then we shall return. Stay still for a moment. So, what about the Four Knights of Londo? Well, we haven't fought them yet, so... Um, we have okay. we have three bosses to take out now. The, the Four Kings of New Londo, um, Grave Lord Nido, because we already and took out the... And who? Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, we've already taken out Isolith and, uh, and Seath. So the only two left are, the, are Londo and, uh, Nikto. Clot to Verata Nikto. <laughs> Zubity! Doobity! Shloobity! And I must also mention that thanks to OniPlays, I know where New Londo is. It's in a... it's actually as accessible as the very start of the game. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I did... 
I didn't know that New Lano had that many secrets. Let's go back to the woods for a second and kill some ghosts. Because with the transient curse, I may engage in combat with these fucking trolls once and for all. Oh, 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 oh boy. Oh boy. Oh god. Yes. I can fight you now. Okay, so you suck. <laughs> All right, that's Big Hat Logan. All right, so only three thousand souls apiece, too. This guy's been a fucking thorn in my side for too long. No more. Fuck yourself. Fucking your ass. All right, so where Kick are you. we now? We're in the woods where we found stuff, especially mushroom people and giant werecats. That that actually ate us in an earlier part, and uh, we're we're having our vengeance, which is interesting because ghosts are creatures of vengeance, but they are the ones who receive the due retribution. Oh, watch out! Eastern warriors, they inflict bleed. Slow. Fucking bastard. Yeah, that didn't kill him, though. That did. Shwing! Shwing! Ah, oh, it's like music to my ears. Except when it happens to me, of course. What? Oh, oh, I just broke the trees. I thought there were tree people here for a second. Yes. Okay, but there is, um... Oh, yeah, that's right. You do have to come back to the woods because um, there is a boss in this area who is holding a, a quest important ring. You need it in order to reach the Four Kings of New Londo. Okay. And is that why we're killing the ghosts in order to make the, uh, the, uh, the Lord Ooh, of, yes. uh, the Lord of Undeath uh, spawn? Well, we're... I don't know where this particular boss is. I I was as a matter of fact, I think I stumbled on on the the rest of this video. I had entirely stumbled on by accident, which I'm quite pleased about. Ferris's hat. Okay. More like Phallus's shat. Dick jokes. <laughs> mm, sure thing, Freddy Krueger. <laughs> you know, I. He looks, he looks more like, um, he looks more like Don Quixote, actually. If it wasn't that Don Quixote was actually wearing a helmet. You. Oh, now I know which hat that reminds me of. That reminds me of the Abyss Watchers from Dark Souls 3. One of my, only one of my favorite fucking bosses in the whole game. And maybe after this is done, uh, uh, from the very You poor fool. Um, you. I, I, I'm sorry. If you recall, you joined these guys' as covenant, like, at the very start of the game. But everybody's fucking attacking me right now, god damn it. I'm confused. <laughs> the Darkwood Grain Ring. Huh. Whatever that does. Murakumo. It inflicts bleed damage. Well, that is because it is an Adachi, and Adachi are supposedly very sharp. Um, I'm being chased all over this place. Double kill in your face. And that is the only moment in the game where I actually slay two hunters in the same sword swing. Oh, what the fuck? Mushroom people! Ow. Hello, giant mushroom people. You guys hit really hard. Oh god, they're coming! <laughs> <laughs> Look at their stumpy little legs. I love these guys so much. And there's really not much to these guys. All they do is, like, punch you. Yeah. But again, they, they hit Which really is why hard. 500 experience. Ow. Uh, although they do give you gold pine resin, which gives you lightning damage, right? Yeah. Yeah, it does. I don't think I can even use gold pine resin because I'm using a magic weapon, I think. That is... That is... Oh my god, there's a thing over there. Why are there things in my woods? 
These aren't your woods anymore, Cloud. You abandoned them like 400 parts ago. Yeah. I'm leaving the I'm leaving people who are trying to use this as a guide video to this point in in the fucking weeds because I'm not gonna explain how I got here. Let's go explore for yourself. Ass. Are we near the Are we near the water hydrant in the Moonlit Papillon? Kind of. Yeah, that, it's all in the same area. I I'm using the thing, I guess. I didn't even know I had the fucking key. Um, yeah, it's sure. Definitely a boss arena of some sort. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on out. Where are you? Well, it's a graveyard. Oh, well, uh, okay. Belmont. All right, what, what is it this time? Is the sword gonna come to life and slice me? If you are a good puppy dog, it's your a puppy. Is playing havoc on Cloud's video player. It's a big fucking puppy. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, the great gray wolf Sith. Probably one of the most difficult early game bosses because he has good dodge, and that's his dodge, and that's his swing. He swings twice. She. She swings twice. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy. Who, who? I'm pretty sure, according to the limited lore that we have about Sif, uh, she's a chick. Plus, she's pretty much named after a Thor's fuck buddy. So, yeah, I'm gonna assume I'm gonna assume that she's a chick. Oh, thank God I have such stupidly powerful armor, which only causes minimal stagger when I get hit. How the hell did that second swing not hit you? I, I don't know. I just I I feel blessed to have accomplished this. This this boss is no fucking joke, ladies and gentlemen. You're Once not you gonna show beat? off her stagger state though, are you? But what? She has a stagger state? I don't I don't know, dude. I'm oh, just doing yeah. shit. The, uh, when you get I'm trying not to die at Google this point. It, and you can start to see it a little bit here. She is actually she's actually slowed down and she's you know breathing heavily. Uh, oh oh my god. Oh, my sweet Jesus! The Covenant of Artorias. So, the Covenant of Artorias is the required ring which we need in order to reach the four kings of Lando Calrissi. But we don't get to take Balmong with us, damn it. Nah. I, oh, apparently, you could just clip through those gravestones, too. That's, that, it's all... I like I like the little scenery here. You can clip through the swords, the gravestones. It's a nice little boss arena, and probably and probably a lot of people's favorite boss too. By the way. It yeah, isn't. most people have really good things to say about Sif. It's a loyal puppy dog. Of course, we're level fucking ninety, so we are <laughs> just five shotting her. Yeah. Damn. See, we I think I think level forty to fifty is the, the intended level for this boss, but I I over level. But what the fuck, this game sucks sometimes. And in the next part, I'll, after I realize that there's not much else to this fucking boss arena, I'm gonna go to other places in order to find stuff, like the Hornet Ring. Are you gonna explain what the Hornet Ring does? Nope, maybe. Sweet, beautiful level up. So. 